Hello and welcome to another edition of Eyewitness Report on Channels Television. This week, we return to Okotiebo Primary School in Sapley Delta State to see the changes brought by little success at Dago's boldness and willingness to learn against all odds. In Taraba State, government responds to the plight of flood victims in Dampa with relief materials. Also, flood becomes a blessing in disguise for residents of City View Estate, Warewa Ogun State. These and more on Eyewitness Report. I'm Chris Elams. In March this year, a seven-year-old girl's success at Dago from Sapley in Delta State caused a stare in the social media and in the country with her outspokenness. The primary three people of Okotebo Primary School refused to be sent home for non-payment of exam fees. She preferred to be flogged as punishment and remain in school. But what played out in that episode also revealed the state of infrastructure at the state government-owned primary school. We followed up on the story and today we'll bring you the story of our action has helped to transform the school. Okay, so you wait, but you better not me the flog the other A short day, video day, recording day, of 11 year old success at Dego's reaction when she was sent home from school over her parents' inability to pay a 600 naira exam fee. Okay, so you wait, but you better not me the flog the other day, me the same you go tell your mommy. Me the flog, me the flog. Why they go flog me? They can't go tired. They go tired for flogging. They go flog, 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 tired. And they say that's over. They say I'm so bad. And they say that's over. Her story attracted the sympathy of well many Nigerians, including the state government, whose first step led to the suspension of the head teacher who allegedly sent Mr. Adego home on that fateful day. The dilapidated state of the school infrastructure was also brought to limelight, attracting criticisms from many. Six months after, the school is now wearing a good look after the intervention of the state government through an ongoing massive rehabilitation of various schools across the state. <laughs> Newly constructed classrooms and new sets of furniture portray a more conducive teaching and learning environment. The State Commissioner for Basic Education is here to see things for himself. You can see from what we, uh, we inspected today that the school is fully completed and uh, any moment from now we are going to move in the students. The expression on the face of the head teacher explains the kind of transformation the school had undergone in a short time. When the rain falls, it, it drops on our teachers and we have to leave the place because the place was a mess, thinking that it can collapse any time. But suddenly, you know, we see people coming and say want to repair the school. We are highly, you know, we are very happy. And really, our dream came to pass. Besides Okotiaba Primary School, the Delta State Government says it is engaged in the renovation of various schools across the state to accommodate children who are currently learning in makeshift classrooms as well as cater for the growing population of children in need of basic education. As I've been an imagined uh, city, or rather a very big city now, that the population is growing in a very large number. We have shortage of public schools that could accommodate those, um, those children, especially because of the schools we give back to the missionary. And uh, giving back these schools to the missionary is not that they are not available for use, but the basic thing is that, you know, we operate free education at that level of education. And most of these people will not be able to afford it. So we need the public schools that can accommodate them. And what we've just done is to 
um, established two new schools, one at Oduke, then one at FSP, which is the one you are talking about. And we also have one again that is coming up for the primary schools in the junior staff quarters in Asaba. And uh, I believe is that this will be able to help us to reduce the pressure, especially what we have in government model. In government model, we have um, we are having almost about 4,000 people in that school, and we believe that that is too much of a crowd for good learning. So, the success at Dego Art Spokenness has paid off after all. Her story represents that of millions of school children in Nigeria whose desire for quality education is being hampered by their social and economic status and therefore requires more sustainable commitment from government at all levels.